Hello everyone, welcome to this simulation videos. In this ANSYS tutorial, you will learn how we can assign a cylindrical coordinate systems or how we can create a cylindrical coordinate system and also you will learn how we can assign our, assign our rotational velocity to a spinning wheel as well as its cylindrical support. More than this tutorial, you will also calculate the radial stresses as well as tangential stresses, similarly radial deformations and the tangential deformation of a spinning wheel. So first of all, download 3D geometry of spin this spinning wheel from our video links and start new ANSYS simulation strategy. So first of all, download static structure module and to project schematic window and link your geometry that has you downloaded from our video description link that is a spinning flywheel after that we will enter into ANSYS mechanical mod so right click on model and edit you can see that ANSYS is starting its mechanical module. Wait until ANSYS module appears. So you can see we have opened a flywheel in ANSYS mechanical. If you go to the geometry and click on the part of the name, you can see that its material is structured steel. Also you can see the material properties. So Structure steel material is has been assigned to this flywheel. After that, you will create a coordinate system that is a Cartesian. That currently, this is a Cartesian coordinate system. If we click here, you can see this is an x direction, y, and z directions. We want to create a cylindrical coordinate system here on this face. So, just select this cylindrical face of the flywheel and go to the coordinate systems, right click, insert new coordinate systems. From here, you can change its type. Here is the partition, change it into cylindrical options. So, this is radial direction, this is z is axial directions, and its y is tangential directions. Okay, so we have created a coordinate system. You can give it a specific name that is CS1, for example. After that, Click on the structured cell. Now we will apply the rotational velocity. Before going to rotational velocity, you can change the units of velocity that ensure that the unit of velocity should be in RPM. So right click here insert again and select the rotational velocity so for selection you have to select a body if we select this body body filter and select this body apply you can see one body has been selected from here you can assign the its values that is 20,000 rpm and for axis just select this cylindrical face apply so we have applied our rotational velocity to this spinning wheel if we enter the value in negative its direction will be changed.
now go to solution tab and we will evaluate its radial stress that means stress in x directions and the tension stress that means stress along y axis of new coordinate systems similarly we will calculate the deformations so right click on the solution tab go to stress and select normal stress and for x for the radial direction select the x axis again go to solutions stress normal stress at this time ensure that the coordinate system should be the cs1 and select the axis y axis similarly for the normal stress you can name it that is the radial stress also you can rename it that is the tangential stress go to radial stress and change its coordinate system also to the cs1 that is the cylindrical coordinate system similarly we will evaluate the deformations directional deformations again select the your cylindrical coordinate system and for x axis is its radial deformation and the y axis is its tangential deformations the last step is to apply its cylindrical support again select this cylindrical again the surface filter and select this cylindrical surface and go to static modules then insert the support that is the cylindrical support that is here so one this is has been selected you can see that this way will is fixed in radial as well as axial directions now it's time to solve your study please wait until your solution converge so our solution has been completed if we go to the radial stress you can see the maximum radial stress value is 18.6 megapascal and this is the tangential stress that is more than that of the radial stress because the load is being applied in the tangential directions and its value is 28.7 megapascal and for the deformation in x or radial directions is 0.001213 mm similarly the deformations in the tangential direction is less than that of the radial directions you can animate the results i hope you have enjoyed this simulation tutorials please make a practice of ansys videos thank you for watching subscribe and share our channel take care bye bye